wild, wild night. Hello everyone, you're on the interweb with I Need Speed and you may have just seen a footage of a Mercedes AMG GTS passing a yellow Lamborghini Aventador. Um, that was just over there. That was a couple of nights ago. Um, I was just passing through here, that was kind of like a panic thing. Uh, I was literally there for a minute. So that is actually all the film that I could get you. Uh, I'm here the next day though, and here is another GTS in a similar spec. It's not exactly the same as the other one. Uh, in the sense that this one actually has the fixed wing package uh, which is fairly self-explanatory in that it has a fixed wing as opposed to the other one, one which rises up um, as for what's happening today, today I should have some solid film for you I'm going to carry on to Orderly Edge uh, hopefully going to meet up with some more spotters um, so we'll see how the day pans okay, out that GTS Edition 1 that I think you just saw in Hale that was not the same one that I saw pass the yellow Aventador in Hale the other night. Uh, however, this is that exact Aventador parked perilously close to an E class. What a thing that is. And those of you with the eagle eye will have recognised that this is also the one that appeared at the Wilmslow Motor Show. This is nice, I love the colour. Almost gold. V12, still hot, still very, very burning hot. And, just there is Aston Martin. Could not be a better day. Two things, if you are thinking of doing what I've been becoming a little kind of car spotter, internet-y person. Um, I'll tell you that this Lambo did actually pass me before, so I kind of knew it was going to be here already. But if you are going to spot, for God's sake, make sure your camera's in the right mode. Because when it passed me, um, I was in manual mode, uh, which I was using to do the, the street lights thing which means having a shutter speed of four seconds. It slipped into that mode, so I kind of just got white with a little yellow splodge of a photograph. Um, also, having a look inside the cars can be very useful. Uh, for instance, this one actually has a leaflet for the new Bentley Bentayga. So who knows, somebody could be ordering a new Bentley to go with their Lambo. Still in Winslow, still waiting for this to go. Uh, and with me now is this guy. It's one Harry W. At him. Waiting for this to go, waiting for it to start. And yeah. So, at last. found it.
them crackles, them crackles. SLS. Lovely. Uh, right, further up the high street, not much on the road, however, there is these two. I think that's quite a nice combo, both in white C63 and the Vantage V8. I love the pearl on that, love the gloss, it looks absolutely brilliant, especially in this bright weather. And oh, there's another white C63. Let's hope it. No, it's not turned down here, it's gone off there. Oh, well. There's an estate C63, I don't know if that's much compromise. Up ahead, I presume you can see that that's an M4. And then obviously there's the C63 that's down here. The white one. It's quite, quite a nice combo today. And there's the M4 parking up. And there's a bright blue Porsche, Boxster. Hey, now the Aston's got a partner as well. There's an F-Type Cabrio. Still here. Those two haven't moved an inch. There it is over by the RS5. Now it's parking up. Wow. Hang on, I think I can see an RS6 as well up here. If I can see an RS6 up here, then that will be a really nice addition. And it is, oh my god, it is. That is huge. Wow. That is absolutely ginormous. That is huge. It's really wide. Oh, there's the new C63 as well. Wow. It's a really nice day out today. That BMW is gone. Everything's fitting perfectly into place. Jag, RS5, C63, Vantage. The Death Squad is here. They've taken their first target. In the red corner we have the Jaguar F-Type V6S. Convertible. And in the blue corner we've got the BMW M4 convertible. And in the white corner, we've got that Bentley Continental convertible. And in the silver corner, with gold brakes, the Mercedes SLS. I much prefer this to the AMG GT, despite what I might have told the AMG GT owner this morning. I think it just sounds a lot better. Oh. The white corner and the silver corner are stepping back. They've brought the DBS out. They mean business now. Is it? Dude, pick your timing, why not? Or is the M4 coming back the other way as well? Nope, it's gone across. Oh well. That's a nice M4, that is, and there's an RS4 there. And a nice M4. about running it gets disproven when you chase an AMG GTS oh god I ran for that thing flipping egg oh my god wow and it's sure. back up here past the murdered ghosts 
the DBS. And there's a rapid up there. Oh, hang on. I think I know that rapid. I think that's um, a footballer Sergio Aguero. I don't know, I have to double check the number plates, but I recognise those wheels. Those are Rivera wheels. I'm just going to hang around that. The last time I saw it, it was in a dealership and it had belonged to Sergio Aguero. Oh, it's on, uh, yeah, it's on trade plates. Could be a number of things. Could be someone test driving a new repeat. Who knows? I'll find out. Uh, and I'm going to go up here now to the Trafford Arms. What a super sight for the win. <laughs> here I said Porsche, I said before. Oh, it's not a... Oh, it's, it, it's only a turbo. Oh well. I'm literally just out of the car park and there's quite a nice combo here. Very bright. Very British. Speed! The speed and the noise of the speed. The continental speed, that is. I've been stopped in my tracks, people for the brand new Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe. In true Rolls-Royce style, it is ridiculously enormous. Wow, it's huge. Okay, there's some people getting in the DBS, and while they're getting in the DBS and I wait for it to start, some absolutely enormous news. It's brilliant. Um, well, Tomorrow I'm going to go to McLaren Manchester and hopefully some other places. Yep, and WH Automotive is in McLaren Manchester right now. And he has just informed me that above all things there is a 675 long tail. Now I knew there was a 650... Uh, 650S and 570S but I've got a decision to make now do I stay here or do I power it down to Knutsford and get to the McLaren dealership before closing time that's really really tricky I'm going to have to ask some people. The DBS is a four-seater, but it's not actually meant to carry four people. So there is a slightly tall woman, slightly cramped in the back. Over there. And it's turned off for some reason now. Update, I'll come back. And there are now two slightly tall women cramped in the back of this DBS. Obviously, it's not something that has been pre-planned. Yes, that's right, this is actually Ferrari. Um, I've decided that I'm going to be at McLaren tomorrow. Uh, and I've been really quiet because this, this is kind of like the sacred ground of automotive engineering. The Ferrari dealership, it's really quiet. So I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. I've got five minutes, I've been told. So, this is the interior of an F12. FF, which I really, really like. F12. And back ends of 458 and 430. And the centerpiece is this Novitec F12, which is the one which featured at Tatton Park and at the Wilmsley Motor Show. Wow, I've cordoned it off. <laughs> I'm getting serious.
rumours about this. Uh, it's not the unicorn, it's real. It is, yeah. <laughs> this is actually a GT4. Love that wing, love it. GT4. Wow, this is actually real. There's a GT3 behind me that I'm just kind of ignoring. It's not got the windows open though, so I can't pull the panels. But I can on this GTS. Beautiful. It's 144,000. That is a lot of money. So the GT4 over there, that's 104,000. And this being sold, I don't even, can't even imagine what this has been sold for. Everyone, it's the signature supercars of MCR NSX. With a GTS that does brutal downshifts. I've just come out of Alderley Edge. I'm on my way back to Hale where I started the day. Estimated time of arrival is 7pm. And I've just found supercars of MCR fueling up his lovely NSX. Hey. Sorry? Uh, I'm, I need speed. I need speed? Yeah. I'm supercars of MCR. I know, yeah. I saw you uh, the motor show last weekend. Yeah, that's me, yeah. See what I did today? Uh, yeah, there was a yellow Aventador here before. There was that one. That was going about a bit. The GT4 is at Porsche. GT4? Yeah, the Cayman. Oh, nice. That's new in. And um, there's the Novitec F12s in oh, Ferrari. Yeah, the F12 was here as well. Yeah, Novitec. <laughs> Spotters help each other out. Set in front of an M5 and a C63. What a coincidence! Corvette. Wow. Loud NSX. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that's a Daytona. They go for a lot of money, Daytonas do. Jeez, hope it's real. 